Hi collectors, it's me Beverly Jin. Call me Bev. Welcome to my channel. So in this channel, we I will be sharing to you my China and figurine collection. So for the China, I would say 98% would be Royal Alberts. I do have some of their English China and some Japanese China too. For the figurine, mostly would be Yadro pieces, which is my latest babies. I do have Royal Dalton figurines, which is also a big collection, and some other English figurines like Royal Worcester. I think I do have Wedgwood and Colport. I do have some Colport pieces too. So please excuse the the mess for most people who've been following our page on Instagram we recently moved to our new place just two weeks ago so we're just in the process of unpacking our China I would say we are at 45 to 50 percent unpacked so I want to share to you our journey of unpacking putting things back um, we're hoping to make this China suite more presentable in time so say in the next two weeks people would maybe think it's a long time to set that up but it's not easy so as we put them back to their stands to their shelves we made sure we check every piece that they are damage free and thank god for now for all the pieces that we have um, put back to the shelves i guess we only have two or three damages to note and nothing nothing major so just a cup and i think i had a, a soup bowl with a chip but for the biggest pieces which is most important or my most valued uh, piece in my china collection is a teapot over there so it's teapot and coffee pots Especially for the people who visited me in our previous place their first question is how did you start so with um, my China collection it started in 2014 and that was when I was that's when I moved to Canada for good um, I worked in the UK for two and a half years but never met Royal Albert while I was there ironic isn't it so when I moved here for good, I started um, working as a home support worker and the couple that I worked with had this beautiful china cabinet in their um, dining room and this one piece, or it's actually multiple pieces, caught my eye and as days went by, I went so curious so that one day I asked the uh, my client what do you call this uh, teapot in your in your cabinet and that's when she told me it's royal albert old country roses and i asked her when where can i buy it <laughs> and she said no they have been discontinued they're no longer sold in stores so where you could buy them right now will be online or maybe on antique stores so i was so curious at that time when i went home i searched the internet looked for Royal Albert Old Country Roses and bah, it showed me exact the exact piece that was inside the cabinet which caught my eye it's shiny colorful teapot so the next question was where would I buy this um, set I really wanted to have one for myself so um, someone told me that there is this um, website in Canada Craigslist <laughs> so 
I checked there for Royal Albert and there it goes. There are a lot of pieces of that beautiful pattern. So at that time, I was thinking that it's just like 50 or $100 for, for that piece, but I could still clearly remember the very first set I negotiated online, so that's through Craigslist, was a tea set. So it's a Royal Albert Old Country Row, so that would be this pattern. So it was a tea set for six, the inclusion. So it has six trios, six dessert plates, six cups and saucers. It had a teapot, sugar and creamer, and a three-tiered cake stand. Plus, I think it had some sweet dishes that went with it. The price was offered at $350, and I was able to bargain it for $300. So the story of the set was, it was her friend's set that the friend inherited from her grandma, but she doesn't want to keep it because she doesn't want to hand wash those dishes. So come that day, um, I wasn't driving at that time, so I have to take public transport. I went to the location where the dishes were at. And when I first opened the box, I just said, oh my God, this is a very beautiful set. I will take it. But the problem is, I will be carrying it all around. So it's like a walk from the house. It's like a 200 meter walk to the bus stop. And from the bus stop, I'll have to go to the train station. And to the train station, I'll have to take the bus again. And from the bus stop, I'll have to walk to where we live. And where we live is like half a kilometer walk. So that was, that was the story. So I have to carry that big box and bring it there so when i had the um china in her house the next thing i was looking for was a china cabinet so that's the story of how i first started so i met old country roses and while searching royal albert that's when i discovered it actually has multiple patterns i would say thousands of patterns so it made me curious but never did it came into my mind that I would be exploring the other patterns until one day while scrolling on Craigslist looking at Royal Alberts that are for sale I did see this one one other pattern which was also beautiful for me and that was Royal Albert um, Silver Birch I think I have that over there That was my second pattern. I could clearly remember it was me and my husband who picked it up. The set was only, this was back in 2014. The set I bought was only um, one, it's from $175. I was able to bargain it for $150. So it was a teapot, sugar and creamer. Um, it has six cups and saucers. It had six dinner plates in it and six lunch plates so it was very different so old country roses is more on i would say um, burgundy i guess uh, more on the yellowish pinkish reddish shade and my silver birch was all um, gray gray with some um few colors like green but it's more on, for me, uh, I was looking at it as more of a formal, formal set. So it's more neutral, not so girly. So I, I admire the set. And that was in 2014. So 2015, we moved to our new, uh, our own house. So it was a townhouse. So I was able to decorate my stuff beautifully in our living room. Uh, at that time, that was the only uh, Royal Albert, um, those were the only Royal Albert pieces I have. Old Country Roses and that Silver Birch. I'll be showing you a picture of that china cabinet that I had. And uh, that's how it started. So 2017, we sold our first townhouse. So we ended up renting since the place that we were to buy wasn't finished yet so we rented a four bedroom 
townhouse and since we are renting we have to get rid of um, some of our belongings and my husband included in the list my china cabinet and since the china cabinet is disposed and at that time we had our second child we had our second daughter who uh, who was a toddler and she loves throwing things so i ended up selling my old country roses and my silver birch set so 2017 um i guess for three months i did not have any china at all and i was just so upset it's like something is missing so i was bugging my husband hey i need to buy another set and this time you have you have to make me keep it don't dispose it you can throw everything away you could get rid of the china cabinet and whatnot but please let me have a, a china a china set so again went to craigslist check on some um some old country roses for sale and i saw this listing it was a um, old country roses for eight so it has eight it's a um, five piece play setting for eight so a dinner plate lunch plate dessert plate cup and saucer teacup i mean teapot sugar and creamer and some serving pieces it was listed for if i'm not mistaken 650 dollars and that's back in 2017 i was able to bargain and bought it for 450 dollars <laughs> so i saved 200 dollars. so the big set was almost the same price as my first um, tea set and that very first set that was uh, yeah, that four hundred fifty dollars set. Um, when I bought it, it was I actually bought it from a collector seller. So when I went to her house, it was like, O M G! It's heaven to my eyes. It's a whole basement full of china, and there I could see like ten, eleven, or twelve different patterns of Royal Alberts, and that was where this everything started. It gave me the idea when I saw the different patterns around me at that time then something sparked in my brain <laughs> something told me I have to get those I have to get more I won't stop at this certain pattern that I have so one what I did <laughs> that exact set that I bought for $450 I sold them piece by piece <laughs> and I actually get more than $450 so I went back to that person, bought another set, and there was another set that my daughter, my eldest daughter, convinced me to buy. And guess what? It's Royal Albert Memory Lane. Um, I don't think I have a piece here right now, but it's a shade of, um, I would say, light blue. It's also a popular pattern for vintage collectors, and it's actually more beautiful than I, I thought it was when looking at them in the in the photos online so we bought that set and since it wasn't something that i really wanted to keep so i sold the set again and there it goes but um then there was this pattern that i was so impatient to get a hold of and it's this pattern the very popular, especially nowadays, lately, this Royal Albert Moonlight Rose is like, I don't know, everyone is just looking for this pattern. Every vintage collector, every Royal Albert collector is looking for this pattern and oh, the prices are just soaring high. I couldn't believe that a person would spend $500 on this pattern's teapot or coffee pot. And it is happening online. So I guess for all those who has this pattern, <laughs> keep a hold of them, take care of it. It's, beca it's becoming rare this time. So that's how I started. So 
so um, that is our, I guess that's the um, end of our intro video. So what we'll be doing now is we will be showing you around. So please just excuse the mess. We'll just be showing you around um, the patterns and pieces that we've already started to put on the shelves. And we'll also be showing some clips of the few sets or the sets that I first had up to the moment where we moved it to our uh, previous house will be showing out uh, will be showing my um, China room and uh, For now Yeah, that's where that's where I will go. But by the way, please excuse the bonnet You might be thinking it's inappropriate, but just for the past days. It's been so chilly here So windy so even inside the house. It's you could still feel the coldness. So I just want to keep myself warm by <laughs> making my head warm and <laughs> to start with. So, yep. Um, I hope you, you'll you enjoy what you'll be seeing. Basically, just wanted to share beautiful things. Um, there are a lot of people who've reached out in our Instagram account just thanking us for sharing some beautiful China pieces which helps brighten their day, especially during this time of pandemic. So, um aside from all those negativity around seeing these beautiful things is just um, a little way or a short time where you would be i would say worry free personally for me my china collection has helped me what not in not go into some uh, depression moments like there are days when you feel down um especially um being at home for what almost a year due to this pandemic so being able to escape from the daily routine very boring routine of just staying home and um you know i mean we all know what's happening around right now so being in this china room seeing all these beauties is a way to to just explore the world i'd say <laughs> exploring the world inside this inside this house so Yep, that's my main purpose. I just want to share these beautiful pieces, um, give you tips on how to take care of your china and figurine, um, perhaps give you tips on how you would be able to check them for damages. That would be uh, that would be very helpful, I guess, for people who are spending a lot for collecting these beautiful pieces. So stay tuned, and um, I would say um, like um share and subscribe <laughs> okay so if there is anything any pattern that you would want featured if i do have that pattern you could um, just uh, comment on our page on this page or on this channel and i'll try my very best to show them uh, every piece i have of that pattern and uh, we'll go from there so thank you for everyone who reach this part of the video so i hope i'll see you in the next video have a great day collectors Thank you.